Sports presents Benning Bites with Damon Benning. Benning Bites with Damon Benning. Another episode of Benning Bites. This one is interesting, right? I always um, encourage, you know, listener feedback and and response or whatever kind of what what are you thinking and 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 so however you get us apple google spotify you know the 590's got an app you know do that that's always a good way to do it uh, just make sure you're a part of what we're doing i got an interesting question and this one came from ryan and he's like hey you know i haven't had a chance to call into the show lately and you know whatever busy with the mornings and he has a good question because we've been talking about You know, one of my favorite lines is, you know, he doesn't need a babysitter. You don't want to have to babysit. You heard Coach Hoiberg reference, hey, in his presser uh, on what would that have been? That would have been Monday where he said, you know, I only have, we don't have 10 timeouts. We only have four. You know, Sam and Derek's ability to kind of lead this team and have me lean on them, right? Player-led kind of stuff where they're so mature it 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 gets us by and and I think that's ultimately usually what you're after as a coach and so the question was on the heels of me always saying you don't want a babysitter and this that and the other uh how does that play with coach rule wanting to interject so much competition right I think it's it's going to be a very competitive football team and they'll keep tabs on a lot of different things um as they kind of lead up to this to kind of build that competitive culture. And he said, you know, interesting question is how does that mesh with, you know, your partner? Uh, he's my, my life partner, my buddy, you know, cause we've heard Michael severe uh, interject that listen, everything but the quarterback spot, Andrew Rogers and I have talked about, do you want the quarterback room competitive? Does the quarterback need to not have to look over his shoulder to settle in? And he's like, well, how do those two worlds kind of balance? And for me, I'm still kind of feeling that out, but it's a fantastic question because in the quarterback room, you oh, so ideally, like myopic, right, best case scenario, you get a guy that you know, he just wakes up and he wants to compete, doesn't care if he's the starter or if he's not, he's just, you know, he's like Baker Mayfield in terms of his competitiveness. I don't mean the some other things that come with that, but – like he just constantly wants to prove that he's the best. Ideally, that's what you have at the quarterback spot. Ideally, that's what you have at all your spots. But if you don't, you do want somebody that's able, it, that is capable of not being distracted, right? That's the next best quality, I think, in your quarterbacks. You want somebody that stays dialed in because in that position, you look a little to the right or a little to the left, and you keep your uh, you you take your eyes off the target. You kind of you um, you invite uh, the opportunity for mishaps. And so as long as you kind of have that balance of somebody that is dialed into the moment, what's going on around them doesn't matter. And that includes competition. That, that includes a, a Jeff Sims not looking over his shoulder at Casey Thompson or Casey Thompson not looking over his shoulder at Jeff Sims because – we talked to Brandon Vogel yesterday morning, and he was one of those guys, and I asked him, I said, hey, how long do you want competition to play out this first year under Coach Rule? And he says, you know, I hope it goes into fall camp. I really do. So many new faces. I want it as competitive as possible. And for some people, I think that makes them a little uneasy. It just depends on your vantage point. Ooh, week one of fall camp, and we're still, we still have six position battles. Does that mean we don't have any good players? Do we only have a couple? I mean, you, you, we've been through this before. And truly, is the quarterback position the one position you want settled? Because all that's been crammed down our throat is if you have, what is it? If you have two quarterbacks, you don't have one or something like that. Will that be the case? And so how do you reconcile that? And I'll simply say by this, there is no magic solution in terms of competitive juices and being comfortable in your role because being comfortable in your role as the signal caller does not mean complacency it cannot 
mean complacency? When I say comfortable in your role, I just mean you're secure in who you are and what it is that that team is asking you to do. That's the key, in my opinion. If there was a magic potion, it's where's my level of security and what I bring to the table in terms of what my role is. If the staff can understand those guidelines, if they can say, hey, DB, you're going to be a spot starter, right? You may get your, your three or four starts a year. You're going to get your uh, whatever it is, your, your 90 carries. Uh, I need you to be ready to go all the time. If that's what's told to me and that's what I've got to work to and I'm comfortable, if I'm mature enough to understand my role, it's going to work. Early on, I wasn't mature enough to handle my role so uh, there's a couple of suspensions here and there where I wasn't always doing the right thing because of that resentment so it starts with the tree of trust uh, with that staff to player and a level of security in terms of what my role is on the team the more clearly those things are defined the less the competition will quote unquote bother you regardless of position because I think at the end of the day you want as much competition as possible there's a lot to it and it depends on the DNA but if I'm putting it in the test tube and I'm shaking it up and then I got to sprinkle it on a player I, I, I want somebody that's ultra competitive and has an ultra high level of security in terms of who they are as a player if you start there with well-defined roles you give yourself a chance. You don't guarantee success, but you give yourself a chance. Where do I fit in? What do I do? Because I think deep down all players want to be coached and led, and that won't be any different with this team. However you get us, make sure you continue to do so. Make sure you give my buddy uh, Andrew Rogers a follow. He's at Andrew Rogers TV. And don't miss Coffee and Cream. Fantastic show. Just getting started, making tweaks as we go, kind of figuring this thing out as we do life through radio. We appreciate you being a part of what we do. It's Spinning Bites.